So for this last video for this week, we're going to talk about two predictions of the Grossman model, specifically looking at um, the marginal efficiency curves. So first, health and education. Well-educated individuals are more pro uh, efficient producers of their health. So college graduates might benefit more from an investment in health than a person you know, with a high school diploma or without a diploma. How do we explain that? Uh, essentially, I think the medical system in the United States is built for and by highly educated individuals. It's easier for them to navigate that system, to uh, read instructions, to talk with their physicians, to have their needs heard and met. So formally and precisely the way that we describe that phenomenon is by saying that the highly educated individuals are more efficient at each level of investment in health. So here, the um, marginal efficiency curve of the person with the high school diploma or less is literally lower than, it's less than the marginal efficiency curve for the person with the college education. Um, so at a given level of health investment, you're going to have, um, you're going to be able to produce more health if you're more highly educated. And as a result, your optimum level of health, which is what's traced along here on the x-axis, your optimum level of health is higher uh, for the more highly educated individual because they can obtain that level of health more easily. So the other phenomenon is declining health among the aging. This is explained by the depreciation of health over the lifetime. So you'll recall that H in time period T equals health as a function of um, one minus the rate of depreciation of health times last year's health, as well as the time that you uh, invest in your health and M the market inputs. So, but the depreciation value delta, which is kind of scaling the impact of last year's health on today's health, is not constant. That rate of depreciation increases with age. As delta increases, the costs to investing in health, R plus delta, increases as well. So it takes more resources to achieve and maintain the same level of health as it did. Uh, when you were younger. So as a result of the increasing depreciation in health over time, your optimal level of health will also decline over time. So uh, in time period one, your optimum level of health is uh, the point where your marginal efficiency curve meets, uh, meets, reaches the sum of the two costs of health, which is the rate of return, the opportunity cost, and also the depreciation in time period one. So that H star is less than, along the x-axis, um, your optimum level of health when, uh, in a previous time period, in time uh, t minus 1, which here would be H0. So H0 star is greater because the depreciation, delta 0, is less, so the cost of health is lower. Um, and actually, one more thing I wanted to point out. In this uh, prior curve, you see these are there are literally two separate curves because the marginal efficiency of the individual differs by their education. And yet here, which simply represents that one individual over time, um, it's just one curve, but you're moving along it um, because delta is changing, because the price is changing. So the intersection of the total cost with that same curve, doesn't change, um, is what's driving changes in H star. So there is even, in fact, an optimal level of death in the Grossman model. So because your depreciation is increasing, um, at a certain point, there is like a better elsewhere place to invest in the market than in your own individual health. So at H star moves, get smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, until eventually it reaches H minimum. Why would anybody choose H minimum? Perhaps they're just really, really sick. Um, you know, so how could H min be utility maximizing? Think about that. So in conclusion for this week, you know, is health something that happens to us or do we choose it? The Grossman model says that we choose it. In fact, we even choose when we die. 
that feels far fetched. Um, but the thing is that the Grossman model is just it's a useful and clear and precise way to describe the trade offs that are facing people in regards to how they think about and interact with their own health. So next week, we're going to use the Grossman model concepts to discuss uh, socioeconomic disparities in health.